thanks for tuning into the channel here. Today's project is going to take a rusty 350 block that hopefully looks something like this and turn it into something that can look like this. So part of the process is using a trick of uh, evaporust and I'm looking to do this in an economical way. So we're going to take uh, this one five gallon container here of evaporust and fully submerge a uh, V8 engine block, in this case a small block Chevy, in the bath to de-rust it. So click the like, maybe subscribe, post comments below, and uh, if you see any value in this, please, you know, hit that like button, give the subscribes there. It's going to help other people see this content. If you think it's worth other people seeing it, help me out there. I'm a small channel. Those subscribes aren't really going to impact you much. I hope you see some value in them. Now, funds were no option. I take the block here and put it in the bucket and fill it with evaporust. But it'll get expensive kind of quick, so I'm gonna to try to come up with a way here that uh, we can get the most mileage out of the product. So uh, follow along and I'll show you what we're doing and hopefully uh, it works out. Wish us a bit of success here. Here's the uh, container we're gonna put the block in. It's a <laughs> nice little uh, setup with a dolly and everything. So our goals here is to be able to put the, uh, the block in here inside a trash bag, fill the outside area with water, and then just put the product inside of the uh, of the bag, you know, just to touch the block. So we'll see uh, how, how much further we can get the evaporus to go using that technique. Here's our, uh, I guess, before information here. We've got this block, as you can see. Um, we want to get the rust off it. It's a good block. I'll walk it around. Maybe you guys can pick up with a sharper eye exactly why uh, you know a block like this is worth saving. So gonna be in good shape there. Got to get a bag on this thing. Uh, before you get the bag on there, I'm gonna try to do one more trick about taking up some space and not to waste the product. So, tap those coffee cans in the space there, and hopefully we'll oh, be able to. I really need to take up a lot of space. So in the 11th hour, we ended up getting eight cans, taped up the lids, tapped them in there, and hoping the uh, the tightness of the bore helps keep that duct tape uh, and the lids on and relatively watertight. So we'll see what we get out of it. It'll be a good try. Just to avoid tears in the bag and water pressure and lowering it into the container, I figured it's best to put the bag all the way up to the so there's not much movement on it. Catch a corner. We'll be in good shape. We'll see. I think I can just lift this up. Let me see how it lowers down and I can always readjust. But I've got a little video shoot now. Not sure yet. It's lowering in pretty good. that so I can wrestle that onto the dolly there so uh, over the next day or two that we're managing this it's a uh, very mobile All right, good. so with just a little bit of wrestling things around we've got our bag with the block inside I'm gonna grab the uh, hose bib right there fill up this cavity here in between the uh, the plastic drum and the bag to compress as much of the uh, the bag as possible. Then we're going to come over here and right down the center of the block. We're going to add our evaporust. I got two five-gallon buckets. We'll see how far that goes. I know if uh, if I didn't make this experiment, I could probably just buy I don't know five or six of these and fill the whole container up. But at almost seventy dollars uh, a uh, a five gallon bucket, it's hoping I could avoid that. So if I can get this block de-rusted for, I don't know, we'll call it under 200 bucks, I'll call that a big win. So we got the uh, hose up here, flowing into the bag. We'll get that up, I don't know, maybe close to the top of the block here, shut that down, and start adding the evaporust.
take the cap off, start pouring. You okay? You want me to come over and pull Yeah, sure. Come on over. Shooting a video of this here. The step. Yep. Case the wind blows or something. And uh, the guy's watching. We got a little anxious. We got the water level about halfway up. We figured, eh. Let's start filling the uh, the inside of the bag here with the evaporust. So, the got a little funnel right in the cam, uh, back side of the cam, and uh, we're pouring it right down the center of the block now and filling the bottom up. We'll see how high we get with uh, five gallons of evaporust using this method. One at that three. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Fit. Only because of what? Cough care. With only five gallons of the product, uh, and there's still some in there, we maybe have about four gallons in here, you can start to see the liquid level. I think we're doing great uh, with making the best use of the product in space. So I'll try to peel this back. You can see the liquid level. We've got the water here. And the evaporus liquid level now is just slightly above our water level on the outside. So I'm going to finish with this, uh, with this can, this pour, and then we'll see uh, what we're adding next. More water or more evaporus. Right, we're still filling with water here, but you can see the water pressure push on the bag is uh, pushing up some of the product right through the freeze plug. So we've got everything Look in here. here. You can see the water, the stuff still moving. Yep, you can still see things moving. We've got the water level coming up right through the freeze plug right now. So uh, well, you better shut the water down or something. The water, the water's doing good. I'll go over there and shut it down, but it's almost perfect level here. Mm -hmm. So we want to get another maybe two inches of what water? Of water on the outside, and we're going to start adding the evaporust on the inside. I don't think you're going to make it. I think this is it. Look at it. You got almost got the whole thing covered. Maybe a half inch from the Man, top. Man, this this would be wonderful if we could make five gallons of uh, of product cover the whole block. Now it's pushing this up against the block. Yeah, that's what it's doing. See. Yep, pushes us right up against the block. Just like we're over the block here. Now it's just got to go yep. over there. All right. We're over the block here. We're going to start losing this. So let me shut the water off and evaluate how we're going to do it. Well, I let the water run for another minute. Because you're over here, but you're not over, over there. All right. So I'm really excited. We, uh, we've got this product in here, and this is just one five-gallon bucket. we got the block totally submerged. So I'm going to pull it down here and... You know, to a high spot here, we got maybe about three quarters of an inch submergence. So I'm really happy about that. Um, blocks completely submerged in there. Who, who wouldn't want that with only five gallons? So. You can see it now. Yep, there you go. Thanks there, Dad. Just eating away, we'll see what we get. I thought this is interesting, we got a few air pockets like right down in here you can see it's definitely rust compared to where it was before inside this area here a little bit right there um so this would be good if we flip this around 180 degrees and stick it back in the drink but uh, again this is prior to being washed off so i just thought it'd be interesting for you guys to see there are a few trapped air pockets my little trick uh doesn't work so well with but i think the, uh, the flip's going to get us there all right, here we go. So you can see pretty good if you get the light in there just right how the bag is conforming around the block. There we go. So you can see it's really doing a good job. I'm gonna stop the water flow about here and add the product on the inside. I'll give me a little bit of light on the outside of the can so we can see as we're introducing the water level, we're about to this point here, uh, right, right to there. We come over here, we can see now it's pushing the liquid level up, and we just got above the liquid level there. This is wonderful. All right, so we're even though we probably lost a little bit of product, with a little bit more water on the outside, we're getting a full and total submersion. This is the block, 180 degrees flipped. This I think is it, completely covered now. Yep. All right, I'm going to shut the video off and go turn the water off. We'll uh, cover, check back in the weekend. Another beautiful Saturday. <laughs> put this out here to get some temperature in it we figured let some of the sunshine on there and this is uh exactly one week uh in the bath here we did flip it on a uh, wednesday night and uh, we'll see what we get here took a peek a little bit of dark fluid here so we might be out of the uh 
the working ability of the uh, vapor rust, but we'll see how it goes. So where are we at? Uh, it's right around 80 degrees liquid yep. temperature. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, we're about to pressure wash the block. Just got it out of the uh, out of the tank there, and I'm gonna wash all the sticky stuff off it, and uh, we'll see how it goes from here. This is after the block has been uh, washed off with the pressure washer and uh, blown air dry with this uh, leaf blower we got there. And uh, you can see overall uh, extremely happy with how it turned Surface, out. Surface, this area here coming around so you can see uh, you know, the lifter area all looks great. There's a little bit of flash rust that happened through uh, blowing it dry. But uh, I'm really happy with uh, how this turned out. The product worked great. Uh, low impact. We let you know the evaporust do all the uh, all the hard work, and we just got a little bit of cleanup here to do. I'm going to uh, probably CRC this to protect it from any more uh, rusting, and uh, I'll follow up. Hopefully, by the end of this video, I'll have a little bit more of an update on how she looks. As you can see, a little bit of CRC action here just to protect things. Uh, half done, half not at this point, but uh, we want to get this uh, finished cleaned up and get it to the machine shop. And if you're lucky, I'll post a follow-up video on on how we make out there. But as far as wanting to learn uh, how to, to make the Vaporus go as far as possible, I hope you guys like this video. You know, please, if you think there's uh, something cool in here and you see one of my other videos maybe you click on and it's it's worth it subscribe got some more great ideas for this type of work i'd love to have you see comments below hit the like button at a minimum thanks so much guys